What a Thank you very much, cheers. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought we were at Junction. Yeah. We're probably abandoned going down that way. Yeah. And we'll head back to St. Yeah. There's always time for a cuppa, Dad. Always time for a cuppa. Well, she was a very helpful Scottish lady. So basically, that explains why she was stopped in the middle of the road, because it is a dead end. So basically, well, I don't think it's a dead end, but it's a very rocky road. See, farmers, blah, blah, blah. I think it's like a, a farmy cul-de-sac type thing, so they were obviously neighbours because she's literally just pulled into her house. But there's a lot of roadworks going on and shit is all over the place. The route we was intending to take was closed off and obviously we didn't fully know that that was a dead end for bikes. You can go down the rocky bit, but we're not on these. Maybe if you had your tiger, Dad. <laughs> But yeah, she came out, she was like, are you lost? We was like, no, we, we know the area, but we've just come down wrong place, come down wrong way. So we're sacking off the original plan, and uh, we're gonna go get a cup of tea, or a coffee. Might have a coffee, who knows? Horses and horses and horses, shizer. Let's just roll past. It's all right, we're on a bit of a downhill, we can get past them. Thank you. It's a little Friday adventure for us. Farms, beautiful views, wrong turns, cups of coffee, a crushed wang. That's on my tank, that's a personal issue, God. <laughs> but can I tell you, at the minute, I am loving content creation. I'm absolutely loving it. And especially, some of the, some of the comments I got about the review videos that I've been putting out, especially on like this bike and my dad's bike, yeah, Adam, you know, the only two review videos you've done ever. Some of the comments were so lovely, like, a few were saying, I like, yeah, this is, this is clearly what you're meant to do. And it's like, oh man, such a boost. Absolutely loved them videos. Was so proud of them. Yeah, granted, some of them haven't done the greatest views, but then it's like, I'm only a small channel, I don't, can't expect the big, big boy views at the minuit. But it just really does, it, it's starting to build that foundation of like, if I do approach dealerships or if I do approach brands about doing reviews, I think the decent basis is to go off of, and I've got decent, you know, responses. Obviously, if the views were a tad higher, it'd help. Because if, if a brand sees that you've got, done a review of something and it's got 100,000 views, they'll be like, shit, yes, mate, he can review it. If it's gonna have 100,000 reach, but obviously if there's only 300 people that watch it, I mean, grand scheme of things, 300 still, I think 300 still a decent number of people to see your product, but then it depends how big the brands are. Thanks, mate. Legend. Ah, so that was the road we was gonna go down. Never mind. This is refreshing, you know. It really makes me look forward to summer when we can go further afield, especially when they get on the Taurus. They're gonna wanna get the mileage worth out of those Taurus as well. So I can definitely be like, I might even try and get on Uncle Pud's Kawasaki. <laughs> I swear I won't crash it. I swear I won't. I know I, re oh, I reversed my car into another car on my first day of driving, but forgive me. <laughs> now give me a Kawasaki. <laughs> That's how I'm going to approach brands. I'm going to be like, you don't know who you're dealing with boys. And girls, God, Jesus, it's 2024, lads. Now give me a bike, I want to review it. Shall I jump on that scooter and go review it? This is the 50cc Godly Monster. The first in Ducati's reliable range. Sorry, that's a bit roasting you a little bit there. If you've got a, du a Ducati. Oh my God, you've got a Ducati, oh God. You must be a bro. You see, just as I was about to move, to go up alongside him, the lights changed. What a joke. The start of the measured mile. Yeah, Jesus, look at the state of it, man. If a biker loses a bit of concentration and he's just doing his thing and he goes over one of them, could be game over. 
know what I mean? Depending on if you hit a wall or whatever by going in one of those. Do they not realise how fucking dangerous that shite is? Now get it fixed! They're usually on it at this time of year as well because it is um, it's the school holidays at the minute. So I mean, well to be fair to them, there is a lot of temporary traffic lights about. With it being school holidays, they always seem to do it around then because obviously traffic's like nowhere near as bad. Jesus. He was tatted up all over his face. Gang activity. <laughs> That's very prejudiced, isn't it? <laughs> Kids, don't do that. As in judge people, I don't mean you can't get tattoos, I'm not one of them, don't worry. It will lower your chances of employment. Calm down, Karen, just put a shirt on. I enjoy videos like this because it's just sort of a go with the flow, enjoy the ride, chat, chat a bit of shit. And to be honest, I think a lot of you enjoy these types of videos. I got a comment saying like, I want love in the review videos, but all right, mate. MT07, not bad at all. Juicy. Juicy! Maybe he was a hooligan! Come on then, police, let's go, boy. Yeah, I got a comment saying that, um, saying they've been really enjoying the, uh, the review type videos and content, but, and then like the, the face to face, like the hate comment one. But they said, but you know what? Don't, don't worry about, you know, you can still put out a waffle video every now and then because that's why you originally subscribed and that's it, innit? Because on this channel, we don't take ourselves too seriously, do we? We don't get political because, to be honest, it's not worthwhile getting political. It's not worthwhile. I've learned not to discuss two things, politics and religion. Because no matter what your opinions on it, other people have their opinions on it and they're very, very, very unlikely to change no matter what anyone says. So I don't have much interest to be fair. It's like I've had a comment about someone unsubbing. Oh, nice one, Peugeot. At least you're not blocking the opposite side of the road. What a dick. Donut, mate. It's not hard to not block a junction. It's like the easiest thing to judge. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, I, I, I had someone comment about a uh, about the NHS being shit, and then I didn't respond to it. Because I sort of didn't care enough to respond. <laughs> and then they accused me of deleting comments. I'm a liar. They've unsubbed, they've blocked me. And this is someone who commented quite a lot on the channel, so... And it's like, what, just because I didn't... I didn't bite and go political and start slating the NHS? It's just one of those... I probably do have opinions, don't I? Am I gonna voice them? I probably don't care enough to, to be honest. Yeah, I was tucked behind you. They're pretty good at wagon drivers, aren't they? Like, I wouldn't want to fill a... I wouldn't want to squeeze in a gap like that. But yeah, I just think this is not the channel for being super serious about things and shit. I don't care. I don't care for debating politics and... So let's just have fun. Let's talk about motorbikes. And, as ba and let's be fair, as bad as the NHS seems, I've got a lot of loved ones that they've helped. Let's just, yeah, keep it to bike content. Keep your bumper back, lad. I apologise for anyone who lives here, but this is a bit of a shithole. <laughs> yeah, just casually walk across. Dick! Some people just fucking do what they want, though. They're not... No courtesy. God! Calm down, Adam, calm down. He only walked across the road slowly, jeez. Shit all. In it. 
It's like lawless, that guy who were pulling out of that junction then just kept edging, he must have got that close to my leg as I went past, just kept edging out. I think it's round here where I did my driving test. Oh, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. That was a fucking giant pothole. That must have been half a foot deep. Holy shit. Fair to say, I just bottomed that the forks out. Hopefully no damage, hopefully no puncture. Oh my God. And that was an old one. That's not like that's broken up recently. That was old, because it blended in with the rest of the road. I can even see it. I don't know if we're near Gibbet Street in Halifax here. It's where they used to cut people's heads off. <sighs> These potholes are ridiculous. That, I just went into that one. It was about half a foot deep. It's just bottomed me out and everything. Ah. Straight forward. What are you slowing down for? Fucking dick. Bastard. Never mind. I'll be able to watch which way he goes. I think he's going left. Yeah, I think he's going left. He's going back. Back to facts. No, he's gone right. <laughs> Never mind, we'll catch him. That was probably the unluckiest set of lights to get caught at. Right. I'm coming, Father Puddling. Do not worry. Ah! We're good. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Oh, fucking hell, we're never gonna go. Here we got long gone. He must have pulled up somewhere, maybe. I genuinely don't know which direction he's gone in, that's the problem. And it's like a big junction is this one. I'm just gonna go straight. Right, I might need <laughs> I might need to find him. Well anyway. I hugely, hugely appreciate you for joining along on this video but I ha I do appear to have lost the father um, so I suppose that's probably a decent point to end the video because you don't want to watch me just going looking for him do you so yeah I'll end the video here thank you again for watching And stay frosty, you sexy pancakes. <laughs>